Hi, my name is Craig Byer from Autodesk, and today I'm with Box, and I'm working on Mudbox and Maya, the sculpt of this old man bust. And the very cool thing about this setup on this Box 8980 is how powerful it is. So the cool thing about working in this context here, I have four displays going on. Um, I'm working with Mudbox on one side here, and I have Maya going on the other side. And what I'm doing here is I'm working with this dense sculpt. The sculpt goes up to 10 million polys, and the really nice thing is that I'm able to sculpt away while I work here and paint really high resolution texture maps and I'm baking out these maps and I'm actually painting them in context with what I'm doing here in the Maya viewport with DX11. So what this allows me to do with this DX11 shader is to be able to change my textures on the fly. So as I'm painting and working away at Mudbox, I'm just testing out my texture input into my DX11 shader as I go and the cool thing is I'm writing out a really high resolution vector displacement map here and I'm driving all the tessellation here in the viewport. The really nice thing is with this NVIDIA Maximus configuration we have going on here, I've got this really dense mesh over here with really high resolution textures. And over here, the cool thing is in the viewport, we're seeing DX11 shader drive hardware tessellation. So let's take a look at some of that hardware tessellation that is being driven by the vector displacement map out of Mudbox. So I go down to my tessellation displacement area. And you can see the green is representing that low res cage, but we're getting all the details in here simply because of that vector displacement map that's dr driven live in the DX11 viewport here in Maya. And that's really bringing in all those details. That's really nice. If I put the uh, tessellation back on, you can see the type of details I'm getting on that low res mesh. It's a very cool shader to work with. And the beauty about working in this way on this system, this Box 8980, uh, it's an Uber workstation, so the sense that we have 64 gigs of RAM, we have 32 cores on here, uh, you know, it's limitless. It's, it's pretty tough to push this machine to its limits. And it's an absolute pleasure to be able to sculpt high-dense meshes like this and be able to work in context with it in Maya. Thanks a lot.